Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Ezekiel. Oh, amen, that if the Lord should come right now, those clouds parted right there, right before us, and we lifted up out of this earth, I'm glad tonight to know that I'm prepared to meet the Lord. I'm glad tonight to be able to tell you that I've repented of my sins. When I was a 10-year-old boy, I bowed at an altar at a church, and I asked the Lord to forgive me of my sins. That night, I received the Spirit of the Lord into my life. And that same night later on, I was baptized for the remission of my sins. I'm glad tonight to know that I have obeyed the message that John the Baptist preached, and that Jesus preached, and that Peter preached. And it's the same message that we can still proclaim tonight, that if you're going to be ready for the coming of the Lord, then you better obey the scripture that tells us we need to repent of our sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus and receive the wonderful gift of His Spirit that comes into our lives that brings us joy and peace and hope, amen, and eternal life. There is no better, there is no other way to be saved. If it was good enough for John the Baptist, it was good enough for Jesus, it was good enough for Peter. And I think it's all right for us here in McAdam, 2014, to be able to stand and say, I have received that same message tonight. And I need to obey that message in my life if I want to be prepared for the coming of the Lord. We're going to sing a chorus in closing tonight. Jesus said, Oh, he'll make a new someone new. Cleanse us in that was the Holy Spirit whispering no more must you be enslaved. message of how to be saved that would match according to what John the Baptist preached and Jesus preached and what Peter preached. The Word of God and its truth. I just ask that your Word of God would go forth right now and begin to talk to our hearts. Lord, we have received it. Now we need to have faith in it and obey it. And I just pray that you would help each one of us here tonight. If we haven't obeyed that Word and haven't repented, we haven't been baptized in your name, we haven't received the wonderful gift of your Spirit and your life, we're not ready for your soon coming. But tonight we can make that choice and we can make that decision and we can begin our life and our walk with you. I pray that your hand of God be upon each one this evening as we dismiss from this service. Amen in Jesus' name. God bless us this evening in the name of the Lord. If you do not have a church to attend tomorrow morning at 1030 at the Voice of Pentecost Church, you're welcome to come and join us for service tomorrow morning. And we'll be back here again tomorrow night at 630 again for our final service. God bless you in the name of the Lord. Have a great evening. Thank you for coming. <laughs>